Coming up on The Devil's Details, it's all Greek to us. Good morning, star lovelies, and welcome to another episode of The Devil's Details, a show where we dig up, decipher, dissect, and deconstruct the many forms of the devil. One of my names is Lester Ryan Clark. And I sometimes go by Keenan Diaz. And we're just two lost souls hitchhiking down the highway to hell. And just a reminder, today's episode was originally recorded as bonus content for our first podcast, The Exorcist Minute, so you might hear a few references and inside jokes that aren't funny yet but will be if you just have faith. And hey, why not subscribe to The Exorcist Minute and hear all the fun we had with that movie and book? All right, so I think we should hand it over. Take it away, past Lester and Keenan. Stand in solidarity with the WGA and SAG-AFTRA strikes. Last week, we began our descent into the fascinating, enigmatic figure of the devil. We started by deconstructing some of the more popular ideas floating around today, and then we took a trip to ancient Persia and unearthed some of the devil's pre-Christian roots in the religion of... Zoroastrianism. We learned about Ahura Mazda, the one good god set in opposition against evil Ahriman, father of all that is wicked. We learned about punishment and reward in the afterlife, how the world is going to end in fire and righteousness, and how we mere mortals can thwart the power of Ahriman daily by doing good deeds, which brings us to the question, how are you going to kill Ahriman today? By giving us a five-star rating, probably. Yes, that would be, that'd be like times five. That'd be... (laughs) But now, today, we continue our examination of the history and evolution of the world's biggest big bad. We're going to look at a couple other civilizations which helped in shaping the devil we all know and love. And we are going to start with the ancient Greeks. And no, I'm not talking about Dimmy's mom. <laughs> wow. Okay, but I mean, like, okay, speaking of Dimmy's mom, right? Like, mm-hmm. that, that, that's a good place to start, right? Yeah. If you're sucking cocks in hell, mm-hmm. don't you want to know the history of the place? You know, to, to fully... Appreciate your work. Yeah, is there an orientation day yeah, when you get to hell? <laughs> or they just so go straight to second cock to hell. I, you know, <laughs> well, you got to go. You got to go through those um, those training videos, right? Right. Where the devil is dressed as an employee, right? <laughs> right. And he's sucking a big old one, right? <laughs> That's right. It's on the, it's on the cock sucking floor. <laughs> he turns. He turns the camera. Oh, he's like, I oh, didn't I didn't see you. See you. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <clears throat> We gotta be. We gotta be accurate with this. He'll be. Mm-hmm. You're like, oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> now, guess what Lester put in his mouth to simulate that? <laughs> right to the Exorcist Minute at right. gmail.com. If you think you know, right. no, but, I'm, but, I'm, but, I'm not that flexible, folks. Um, right? No, no, no. He's, he's got to show you the 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 cocksucking machine, right? <laughs> How to properly clean it, right? Which is which is you suck it more. <laughs> You have you have, you have one of those 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 uh those those demons um you know pretending to be like a demon in train or uh, you know a, a a person a human <laughs> right. you know in train he's like and he's like wow I but how do I clean it well let me show you <laughs> let me show you <laughs> well that's convenient right that's really he's not comfortable. he's he's not he's not the best actor he's kind of like he's a little bit too loud right <laughs> that's right he keeps on looking at the camera <laughs> right. But I'll tell you this, because learn from my lesson, because when I was 21 and I was working at Target uh-huh. and they were like, you got to sign up for your retirement. You got to, you know, start diverting some of your money to your retirement from your paycheck. I was like, retirement? I'm not going to be here for 20 years at Target. And I was there <laughs> for 12 years. Yeah. So, yeah, I wasn't submitting to, uh, you know, my IRA. So Oh, dear. Yeah. Oh. So once you get to hell, start contributing right away. Right. That yes. compound interest is going to add up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You don't think so because you're too busy sucking cocks. <laughs> but... Yeah. Right. Yeah. But yeah, you're going to, when you're in the uh, fifth millennium AD, mm-hmm. that IRA is going to start paying off eventually. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right. It's going to be paying for itself. I mean, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And here's the break room. Oh, but there are no chairs. Exactly. <laughs> All right. And what's on in the, on the TV every day? No! That's devious devil. Not that. Anything but that. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't want to go to hell. How do we stay out of hell? Giving, giving us a five-star review. Giving us a five-star review. Yeah, that's the same. No. Um, all right. Okay, 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 okay. I don't know where I'm going with this. Actually, <laughs> wait. I do. We're going to hell. Right? 
right? Trying to do it without getting copyrighted <laughs> infringement. <laughs> wow, Lester Down in Hell, they got some really top tier royalty free music. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. That's yeah, great. It's great. There's no point to that, though, because they don't, they don't pay royalties. <laughs> <laughs> they could steal, right? That's that is right. that is you know part of their mo. But uh, <laughs> nah. all right, okay. So this is another part of the devil's lore that I think has been expanded upon way beyond the bounds of the Bible, or in fact any of the holy Abrahamic texts, and that is the concept of hell. And I want to start out by doing an experiment, a little huh, warm up, you mm. might say. Oh God, <laughs> we're back in the corporate offices again. This is this is like a lunch meeting. <laughs> Be that, sure you stretch. I know, God. Um, it's Monday mindfulness, folks, if you're listening to this on, <laughs> on Monday. Keenan, you laughed way too hard oh, at this, yeah. that very real thing that I have at my job. Yeah, Wellness Wednesday. Oh, is- God. <laughs> Fucking Friday. <laughs> Fucking Friday again. <laughs> it's too much Tuesday. Oh, God. Anyway, anyway, okay, yeah, yeah. You folks out there in podcast land, you might think we don't hear you, but we do. I got me a nice big whiteboard with a fresh, clean piece of butcher paper because this is corporate America. We waste as much as we can. Mm-hmm. And if I, you don't use up your entire budget by the end of the year, you're just going to get less budget next year. So. Exactly. Right. So actually, here, here's here's some butcher paper for you and here's some butcher paper for you. Right. Do whatever the hell you want. I don't care. Mm-hmm. Um and I have these these different color markers, right? Because different colors are fun, we have found. <laughs> Keeps the workers from asking questions. Um, like, why is my paycheck lower than that? No. Uh, <clears throat> and right now, listeners at home or in your car or at work or at church or at the grocery store, I want all of you to scream as loud as you can into your device uh, anything and everything that comes to mind when I say the word hell mm-hmm. right just just do that regardless of where you are at the top of your lungs and by the power keenan and i wield over time and space mm-hmm. we will hear you and we will write down everything you say on the board so mm-hmm. here we go what comes to mind when you hear the word hell oh that's a good one i'm, I'm just gonna do wallet it's like oh yeah that's a good one. interesting yeah, that's a little too much oh, what was that one can you say that one aha very good okay okay all right, so I'm looking here and I see fire, mm-hmm. I see suffering, uh, eternal torment, circles, good, right. De- uh, despair, darkness, good, Tor- uh, pr- torture, mm-hmm. purgatory, interesting, sadness, demons, the devil, uh, slash, the way we just put the devil slash Satan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Uh, Cox. Mm-hmm. All right, who yeah. said that? You know who you are. You're our people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of that actually. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all <laughs> it keeps it's going. It's pages and pages. Mostly Cox. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Uh, but okay, I think I think we got some stuff that we can work with here. Yeah, we um, do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just need confidence, Lester. <laughs> That's the secret. <laughs> Confidence and um, and a conscience. <laughs> yeah. A big old fat conscience. <laughs> big throbbing conscience. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, okay, so so let's get back to, to history. Right? <laughs> right. No cocks here. No, no. <laughs> there there weren't any. Have, have you ever read about them in the history books? I don't think so, right? They didn't exist. Right. <clears throat> okay, so so we got the Persian Empire, right? The mm-hmm. Persian Empire has fallen thanks to Alexander the Great. Hashtag thanks, Alexander. Um, <laughs> speaking of cocks. Uh, now, no. Now, Greek culture is introduced to Israel. Mm-hmm. And you'll remember, folks, the Greeks had a pantheon. They had a huge cast of characters to choose from, right? Many of whom were human than not right, right. with with various uh, with various personality flaws and foibles right and like um, a whole soap opera of stories of this yes. person's mad at this one sometimes and mm-hmm. then we get screwed over by right. by storms and right some of them are rainbows and right. the rainbow means that they're really have feelings about this other one yep, who's made yep, of yep, the dawn yep. yeah no. um okay but yeah and among these many gods there was one originally an olympian god who ended up ruling the underworld or the land of the dead which was in fact underground Mm -hmm. Now, not only did people not like this guy for obvious reasons, no one's going to like 
the guy in charge of being dead. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But also the other gods didn't like him. So while he wasn't an adversary, he certainly wasn't someone that you were happy to see at the work party. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. So I was like, hey, it was, oh, another quarter, another, another, um, another, um, you know, 7,000 years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a, oh, yeah. All he ever wants to do is talk about work, and I'm kind of here to get away from work. Yeah, yeah. He's so, that so, guy so. who brings it to every uh, uh, PT, PT's pub and TGI Fridays right, afterwards. Right. He, just, he just wants to talk about It's like, we know, we get it. And it was like, yeah, it was like, oh, God, there he is. Just, oh, just, just pretend. Okay, when I say something, you just you just like laugh. Like okay, we're okay. we're really just like, and then it's like, ah, 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 ah. Uh, yeah. Oh like, boy, like, is he is he still there? Is he he's still there? Totally still there. He's, he's so like glad staring. to not be talking about work issues. Yes, right. <laughs> TGI Friday. Thank God it's fucking. <laughs> okay, he's gone. Oh God. Gee. Oh, I, di- I I can't tell you. I cannot tell you how much I hate that guy. <laughs> Like every day, like, like I wish he would just like, like he picked the underworld. Like he would just like, just stay down there. You know? Like I know like, he's doing his job, but we're all doing our jobs, you know? Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 He's just like, you know, and it's like, like we're, you know, you're having a good time. You're happy. You're up there. Right. You know? Mm-hmm. And, and, and he's just got to bring it down all the time. He's got to right. talk about like this person died, that person died. Mm-hmm. God, like, you know, I mean, like if we understand, right. It's like a tragedy, right. You know, know, thoughts and prayers, buddy. But you know. I don't want to be like elitist, but that okay. he smells like sulfur. I okay. I I am I am glad you said it first because I did not have the guts to do it. But no, you're you're absolutely right. Is there like is there someone we can go to to kind of like you know break the news to him? Like, I mean, like, he's he's the one in charge of that kind of thing. So all right, it's like the other you know you know when we had our our Christmas party mm-hmm. like you know last millennia you know and I and we were doing the white elephant thing right mm-hmm. you know and I bought a stick of deodorant Mm -hmm. and it was supposed to go to him yeah but it went to persephone Mm. and i was like well at least it's going to the same household maybe she will because she doesn't smell no she doesn't smell she's proof that you can live down there and exactly just you know like you gotta love yourself i think exactly right but you know it's it's hard because like yeah you yeah you can report him but it just goes to Mm -hmm. his superiors and they're all you know we locked them all in tarless and it's like you know (sighs) we weren't really thinking ahead (laughs) no no you know well well anyway um, so what animal did you turn yourself into to seduce a mortal woman? Oh, a bull. Oh, a bull. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. How about you? A dolphin. Mm, right. Yeah. Girls really like dolphins, apparently. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> I'm just going to keep trying crazier stuff. <laughs> Next, it's going to be, uh, uh, a hermit crab. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what, we'll see what happens. You know? Hey man, whatever gets you in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But no, okay. Um, oh God, he's doing karaoke. He just turned on the, <laughs> and it's always the same song. Oh, don't stop believe. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. God. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. You know he's the one with the helmet of invisibility, right? Yeah. You think you would think you know like if 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 I received that gift, I would mm-hmm. I would take that hint, you know? Right. Like, right. This yeah. gives it to Persephone. Yeah. 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 Anyway, I don't know, did you hear how they met? Did you hear, like, you know, like, oh, yeah. I, I don't think it was a marriage of, like, uh, you know, if you know what I'm saying. I don't think, I don't think it's a happy marriage. I no, I mean, his, so, her mother is very mad. Right, right. Still yeah. real pissed. Yeah. But then again, none of our marriages are happy marriages. <laughs> like, none of our multiple marriages. Right, but are, we don't make it everyone else's problem every winter. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. See, yeah, let's keep it in the house. Un- unless, you know, we want to bother humans. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Bring, in a, bring in a third. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Like a dolphin. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but yeah, okay. So, <laughs> uh, actually, oh, actually, did you know we were um, mm-hmm. tallying up the uh, the sacrifices? Right? Mm-hmm. You know, how many how many sacrifices did you get this quarter? Oh, God. Like, like I don't know, in the, in the thousands. I mean, yeah, maybe yeah. tens of thousands even. Yeah, yeah. Same here, same here. Mm-hmm. You know, did you know, did you, did you, did you see how I got, I got a look in the books? Mm-hmm. I, I know we're not supposed to do that, but I, I right. snuck a look. Did you see how many Hades got? No, how many? Two. See, it's just not fair at a certain point. Like everyone's contributing what they're able to contribute, but at yeah, a certain point, yeah. it's just not fair. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, right. So it's just like, what do you like? I mean, but I mean, honestly, like if I were, if I were, you know, one of those dumb, stupid humans, mm-hmm. right. You know, cause right. they are dumb and stupid. They're right. like really dumb and stupid. Yeah, like yeah. so stupid. Right. I'm glad I'm not one of them. Yeah. But like if I was right. And I, and I had to choose between, you know, like, you know, a, a, a magnificent God like myself Zeus, right. or, 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 or you Poseidon, like, yeah. I, you know, or, you know, our other brother Hades, like, uh, you know, like I would, I would. I would. Why am I? Why am I saying you're Poseidon? You know you're Poseidon. <laughs> I know, and I bro. know I'm Zeus. I know, bro. 
Yeah, bro. <laughs> because we are brothers. Yes, <laughs> that's right. He's our brother, <laughs> and he is right. Hades, god of the underworld. I don't. I think. I don't think I actually said his name yet. So I think that's what I. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's the ah, scene, scene. <laughs> but yes, okay, no, no, no. There, there, there is a kernel of truth to that because, like, interestingly, amongst the uh, the other gods, he is the one to receive the fewest sacrifices. That makes sense to me. <laughs> yeah, right, right. And I'm not, I'm not these idiot human Greek dolphin fuckers, you know. Right, I, mean, yeah. I, I know better than that. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm an immortal Greek dolphin fucker. <laughs> Dolphins never had it this good. <laughs> anyway, no, no. Um, but no, like when when they do sacrifice to him, it's in mm. order to get revenge on someone. Right. So that's very interesting. Um, and even then, people were so scared of Hades that they thought just saying his name, which I forgot to say at the top of this. Um, <laughs> we're talking about Hades, folks. Yeah. <laughs> just saying his name was bad luck. So mm. they started referring to him as Pluton, right? Mm-hmm. Or a later Pluto uh, from the Romans, right? I, it's um. interesting to me. I mean, I'm sure there's things in my culture that I don't say out of bad luck that I'm just not aware of. You know, mm-hmm. it's it's always interesting when you see it in a different culture. You're like, well, you're just you're just doing the same thing, right? Eventually, you're just making up. Like when they start saying like he who shall not be named, you're like you're talking right. about Voldemort. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> like so we know like you're we're breaking the about, rule, yeah. right? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're yeah. still talking about him. Right. I mean, when you when you do it on the other side, mm-hmm. like you you don't want to say it out of like respect, right? So like like the names of God or something right. like that, mm-hmm. right? And you, now we call him God because we don't want to use like his actual actual name, right? right. Mm-hmm. But then even then, God has become, um, you know, kind of a kind of like a do not touch right. uh, word, right? So when people say like like I've seen like censored like um um th- like where they censor the god in goddamn right mm-hmm. right which is interesting right exactly but yeah so so yeah so so that's you know they they, they call him pluton or pluto right um from from the roman um so so here's also something new that i learned keenan mm-hmm. the weapon associated with hades is the bident oh okay which is which is like a trident uh-huh. but democratic no um <laughs> no 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 it's a sleep little sleepy <laughs> 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 right. Well, and, and you know, and you know, it's a it's it's held by Hades, so it's a dark bident. <laughs> a bident. I don't. I don't. I don't think of Hades as holding anything except. Oh yeah, no, no, no. He has. Grudge. He has. Well, yeah. yeah right. <laughs> but no, no, no. Yeah, like in in the pictures, he has this is this two pronged uh, pitchforky thing, mm-hmm. right? Uh-huh. Um, and uh, yeah, it's 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 only got two prongs. Mm-hmm. Where a trident, like the one with that Poseidon has, mm-hmm. right, has three, right? Right. And and that's why historians say that uh, you know, uh, like the devil is usually holding a pitchfork, which has oh. three prongs. <laughs> All right, but that makes some sense. Okay, that's where the pitchfork yeah. comes from. Yeah, I mean that's that's what people are are, are guessing at, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. is is that why we associate? Well, maybe this maybe this is all feeding into each other, right? Also, mm-hmm. pitch is to pick up a pitchfork is to pick up pitch, right? Which yes. is sulfur, and that's mm-hmm. what we associate with them. Um, with the de- devil, but maybe that's all. Right. I don't know which is first chicken and egg, but yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It yeah. Together. But it, like it, it fits. Per- like it, it, it conveniently fits, right? So mm-hmm. he's at, he's down there like stoking the fires of hell, or he's like you know like uh, torturing you know sinners and stuff like that. Right, right? and he yeah. smells real bad either way. Real bad, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, so so as we said, Hades lived in the underworld, mm-hmm. which was called Hades. Very convenient. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's that's always funny. But like in in Norse mythology, right? Hell lives in hell. Yes. Mm-hmm, yes. Mm-hmm. So H E L right. lives in H E L. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. So we get. Yeah. We we seem to get that a lot. You know? mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Now Hades is surrounded by five rivers. Uh, H- Hades the place, not Hades the guy. <laughs> Although I guess he is too. Right. Right. So, like, exactly. If he's in Hades, then he's surrounded. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. But five rivers. So so we got Acheron, river of woe; Cocytus, river of lamentation; Lephlegathon, river of fire. Styx, the river of unbreakable oaths, and Lethe, river of forgetfulness. And what was the last one? Lethe, river of forgetfulness. And then the fifth one? Lethe, river of forgetfulness. Okay, and then the final river? Lethe, river of forgetfulness. Okay. Now, past these rivers is a huge gate made of diamonds, um, or diamond, right? Mm-hmm. Like, just maybe, like, solid diamond, right? right? And that is guarded by Sir... Sir Bur- Cere- cerebro, no, <laughs> C- Cerberus, 
And I don't care how scary you try to make him. No matter how many artistic depictions I see of him, he is the sweetest, goodest boy Mm -hmm. just doing his job for his dad, (laughs) barking at Zeus and Poseidon when they deign to show up and hang out, which is like, never. Screw those guys. Hades doesn't need them. He's got, he's got Cerebrus, <laughs> right? Cerebrus is, is like the goodest boy times three, right? right? He's got three heads. Keenan, have you seen like the TikTok where Cerebrus is, <laughs> is like sniffing at Hades' ring doorbell and, and one of his little snoots accidentally boops the button and it rings and then the other two heads start going, rah, 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 rah. right? They start going nuts because they think someone's at the gates of hell. <laughs> See, it's that's like cute. That would not yeah. keep me out. No. Right, but okay, yeah, but yeah. Speaking of these gates, right? Um, beyond this is a palace, the palace of Hades, right? Mm-hmm. Not Hades, but Hades. Not right? a Hades, but but the Hades, and Cap- not not the Hades, but but the Hades. The Hades. The, yeah, <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> Got it. We nailed it. Um, and it is said that the palace has rooms made entirely of silver and gold and other precious metals and jewels. And I thought this was interesting, like due to this being. You know, due to his being the ruler of the underworld and all things under the earth, right? He's also the god of of wealth and abundance, right? Mm-hmm. Not only of things that that grow, right? So crops as well, vegetables and fruits, mm-hmm. but also stones and precious metals and consequently money, mm-hmm. right? And historians believe that this is partly why we have this idea of the devil being related to money and earthly wealth and power. It's like trickle down economics, but like way yes. down, right? Wait, but it's like, but it would be trickling up. <laughs> why is that? Because because it starts down. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no, he he has all the money. Yeah, but it comes to him because he collects them from the dead people. I well, well what about like just like all the 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 gold ore and the silver ore? <laughs> so that starts down, right? <laughs> well, that it goes back up and it comes back down again. <laughs> I guess. Okay. <laughs> I thought he has all this money because because they're dying and they're bringing it down to him. No, it, I I well, that's a good. I I never thought of that. I always thought <laughs> no. I always thought that it was like because like the earth is is housing all of the precious metals and stones. Okay, that makes sense. Right? Too. Yeah, yeah, right. You, so that might answer. We're both right. <laughs> <laughs> Here right. on the Exorcist Minute, folks. Neither of us is an idiot. Um, <laughs> yeah. So he so he starts where the money is, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Gold and silver and, and jewels and all that, and they mm-hmm. go and die, and then, and then people accumulate wealth when they're up there, and they bring it back down. Yeah. Yeah. All right. No, it's 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 the perfect racket. Um, <laughs> But that might answer my question from a previous one about dragons liking metal. Anything oh, that's sort of evil yeah, yeah. likes likes money and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. that could be yeah that could be that could have uh, that could have um, uh, ties to to that lore yeah right mm-hmm. right yeah um so so yeah I, now Keenan mm-hmm. I don't know about you I'm I'm really digging this place so mm-hmm. far right yeah. like Hades Palace is like nice and chill mm-hmm. it's underground it's right. surrounded by four rivers five rivers f- five rivers mm-hmm. right you got the benefit of of three doggos to play with and only one doggo's worth of poop to scoop right <laughs> that's right and your house is bougie as fuck mm-hmm. you got all the LED screens down there mm-hmm. you could eat <laughs> yeah <laughs> Also, okay, I didn't mention this, right? Mm-hmm. His house his house also has an extra feature, right? Mm-hmm. No one can find it unless Hades wants them to find it. Oh, that explains a bunch of questions I would have in some of the stories that you read in in, um, in isolation. Yes, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, right, right. So Hades wants them to find it, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. So so you got no solicitors, mm-hmm. no door-to-door salesman, no Jehovah's – well, obviously no – None of those. <laughs> right. And when Lester, where Lester and I are from, they are LDS missionaries. So that's the yes, joke here. Right, yeah. But mm-hmm. that's a local, that's more of a local yes, thing, I guess. It's a local yes. thing that you gotta explain. <laughs> and, but trust us, all of our friends thinks it's, think it's really funny. Yeah. I said thanks. I just gave away that we have one friend. You know, um, I've never had an LDS missionary come into my house. Maybe, um, you know, I also actually don't either, hear yeah. my door like people have to deliver um, things and they have to call me because I, I never hear it. <laughs> so maybe I've had an LDS missionary. But I would love to have an LDS missionary come by. I'd love to see what that's like. And yeah. I have other friends who they, they've had several LDS missionaries. This mm-hmm. is, uh, sorry, Mormon missionaries out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they come in to talk about things and they're all, always very nice. And mm-hmm. you know, I'd, love, I'd love that to happen at least yeah. once. Come on over, yeah. missionaries. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. This is like ding dong, right? <laughs> right, exactly. And, and, and outside the, uh, you know, in, inside uh, Hades Palace, you just hear, you know, just like three times. You're like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> and you hear Hades in the back. It's like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Hades opens it. It's like, well, yes, yes. And he's trying to be as polite as he can. <laughs> he's a very polite guy. Right? He just got taken away from from some very important work right. <laughs> on his Xbox. Um and he's like, yes, can I help you? Mm-hmm. And and he's like, yes, I would like to, I would like to uh, come in and, and talk to you about uh, Zeus. <laughs> and Hades is like, I know Zeus. I'm his brother. Fucking hate him. Get out of my face. 
excuse me, sir, have you accepted uh-huh. Zeus as your personal lord and bull seducer? Uh, well, it seems like uh, he's going to do that whether I accept him or not. <laughs> seems Thank like he's you. been doing that. <laughs> it's like we can't stop him doing that. You don't see, you don't see me seducing any bulls. <laughs> Oh, but mom likes him best. <laughs> mom and we locked down in Tartarus. <laughs> <laughs> Why you do this to me, Hades? <laughs> she blames Hades specifically. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Zeus is the one. Zeus is Zeus the one who overthrew the Titans. Why you no be like, good, like Zeus? Why you no be a good boy like Zeus? <laughs> He's the one who led the overthrow, mother. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I went to Zeus's house. It was very nice. You know, Zeus he has all these wives. Why you know you only have one? Anyway, okay, but yeah, let's talk about the human experience in Hades. Mm-hmm. So, okay, so when you die, you are guided by Hermes to the river Acheron. Okay, and here you will meet a fairy. Not not a fairy. <laughs> I mean, I mean like a boat. So right, uh, there is, we meet a, a fairy man, but not a fairy man. No, no, a no. A fairy no. man. Yeah, a fairy man, a fairy man, right? You know, um, so think of, think of like the opposite mm-hmm. of our beloved horseman <laughs> or our sea horse, <laughs> right? So he's just, he's just a fairy man, mm-hmm. right? Um, ferryman, uh, and, and his name is Karen mm-hmm. and he will demand that you stop recording him. No, um, <laughs> No, 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 that is that is that is Charon or 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 Charon, right? right? Uh, the 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 ferryman, and <laughs> and he and he will demand of you the coins uh, which were placed on your lips, or sometimes I've seen on your eyes, right? right? Um, uh, when when you die, and this is the toll to take you across the river. And all accounts say that uh, those who are unable to pay uh, the fare are just trapped there on the shore. Right. Um, I thought I'd be able to find like more information about this. Mm-hmm. Like it seems like such a very important thing. Like right. how many times has this happened? Right. <laughs> it's got to be a lot, right? Mm-hmm. Like is is there credit in the underworld? Like- <laughs> well, I mean, if I can put two two coins on your lips or your um, eyes, uh-huh. why can't I put three on there and then you go and bring one down to somebody else who like died on the battlefield or whatever? See, that's what like yeah, like you would think. That's right? the Christian thing to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Right? <laughs> Unfortunately, Christianity wasn't in front of that. Right, but that's why in, in Greek mythology, or if you read some of the ancient Greek tragedies, like Antigone, mm-hmm. part of the, the trouble, I mean, Antigone um, goes and defies the king because she wants to give her brother a, a proper burial. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's what that's about. So she wants to go and um, the king is declared like no one can go out there and take the body. And she wants to go out there and, uh, you know, give him the proper funeral rites and give him the coins, you know, to right. go into the underworld properly. Yeah. Which is interesting. Like I've seen even in um, like later, deba- like you mm-hmm. you see like even in like like Victorian times, you right. see these uh, these dead bodies with like coins on their on their eyes, right? right? Absolutely. Um, so yeah, so so I guess that that's carried over, right? Mm-hmm. Also, nobody wants to look like a, look at a dead person's eyes, so <laughs> so I guess the coins coins but is a little bit better. money, <laughs> yeah, let's look at, mm, money. When I look at your eyes. I want to see money. Yes. Right. Um, well, obvi- yeah, St. Peter's is like, well, obviously you're greedy. Like, you just like, you got dollar signs in your eyes. It's like, no, 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 I swear. <laughs> my brother put this on my eyes before I died. <laughs> right. That's interesting you bring up St. Peter, right? Because that's even in heaven. But that mm-hmm. idea that once you get to the underworld, there is still some passage you have to do. Yes. I saw some comparisons to the Greek idea. Uh, you know, it's, I think it's hard to make these connections. Um, mm. But at least as tentatively as we say, like Zoroastrianism leads to our idea of the devil, um, mm-hmm. like the Greek idea coming a little bit from ancient Egyptian ideas that mm. you had to prepare for the afterlife. And once you get right. there, there's stuff for you to do. And so our funereal mm-hmm. rites have to prepare you for that. Right, you get like all these objects buried with you, right? right? And your best, uh, like you, you know, your best things, and your be- right. and sometimes your best people, right? right. And the metaphor still is in a journey of some kind. So even when you are, you know, in our this is extra biblical, right? The idea that Saint Peter is at the pearly gates. There is a pearly gate in Revelation, but the idea that like yeah. you go there and you have to ask your way in or be let in, like that's that's not so dissimilar from the idea of like you have to go to Charon and, and there's something you had to have done in order to get across. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, right. And that's just like part of it, right? There's there's even right. more judgment later. Oh, right? oh yeah, don't yes, you worry. Right. If you if you think Karen was the only person judging you <laughs> on that boat ride, mm-hmm. right? It's no matter it's like like whether you're chatty or quiet on that boat ride. It's like you know you could you know you could say something. Right. Yeah. You know? It's mm-hmm. like uh, you know it's a long boat ride. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, no, um, I imagine, I imagine Charon has like, 
just all the jokes ready, right? Like he has done this. He is one of those like um, our our buddy Ian was a uh, was a was a gondola. Uh, uh, Dry gondolier fire? gondolier wow lester you couldn't think of the word gondolier right he was one of those people who piloted gondolas yes. <laughs> that's right right he was he was gondolier and uh you know he worked at uh what was it the the venetian the venetian casino in macau and they have yes the, um they have the reproductions of the venetian canals yeah yes right yeah so he's uh he's uh he's he's uh, uh taking people up and down those those canals and he's and he's just being like he's just being his 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 awesome self right like right. just making jokes and entertaining people and in like an that. italian accent in man Mandarin. <laughs> yes. They, so even though they speak mostly um, Cantonese in Macau, he mm-hmm. learned Mandarin to talk to the tourists who come to Macau with an mm-hmm. Italian accent. <laughs> yes. All right. It was it was it was an interesting time. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, but I imagine I imagine like like Caron is mm-hmm. is a lot like that, right? right? Like he's just he's just trying to because you just die, Keenan. <laughs> oh you no! Just, you, you probably got a lot of questions. You're probably nervous. Mm-hmm. You're probably like. I don't know, a little depressed, right. maybe, right? You know, the atmosphere is certainly not, uh, you know, like, you know, brightening you up, right? right? As the so, uh, the comic, <laughs> the um, webcomic Arthur uh, Riza Ferrismond, who does um, poorly drawn lines, says, you mm-hmm. just died, and the ghost says, damn, the one thing I was trying not to do. <laughs> <laughs> right? So you're also probably feeling like a little bit of a, you know, like like a failure. You right, know? exactly. Oh, God. Yeah, died. It's embarrassing. Right? <laughs> so I'll bet, I will bet, you know, actually Caron mm-hmm. is is actually a really nice guy. Like he's, a, you know, he's, he's making you feel better. Right. right? Yeah. Telling right. little jokes. Giving you, a, mm-hmm. you, could, you could turn the air on back there if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you need a right. phone charger? Yeah, I got it. So it's all the way up here. Oh, the cord's a little bit long. It's, like, it's, it's as long as the river Lethe. <laughs> The river of forgetfulness. What is that? Lethe, the river. And then it just like the rest of the journey. It's just that. <laughs> That's the real hell, listening to our jokes. Yeah. <laughs> That's in Tartarus, yeah. <laughs> um, but oh, actually, you know what? Mm-hmm. You know what would be cool? Mm-hmm. Kenan? If you can't pay the toll, mm-hmm. you become the new Carol. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not paying your fare. Do you know who I am? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, but okay. Let, let's let's say that you get across across right? from where <laughs> <laughs> uh, across the river Acheron, okay. right? And now you get to meet the goodest boy in all the underworld, mm. Cerebroburus, right? <laughs> and and one of his heads is a Great Dane, Aww. and one of actually okay, actually this is a good question, Keenan. It, mm-hmm. Is it three heads of the same kind of dog? <laughs> or is it like three different dog heads? I, I, I have a if feeling. If you were Hades, which would you be? Oh, I see. Yeah. I have a feeling back in ancient Greek, there were not breeds of dogs. There was just mm-hmm. dogs, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just, but let's make this fun. There were just let's, Greek yeah. dogs. So there were dogs in, yeah. dog. in Tibet, mm-hmm. they had different dogs. And in, <laughs> in Spain, they had different dogs. And you just had yeah. Greek do- dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, no, if I could pick, you know, I love a basset hound. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I love that droop to a basset hound face. Um, mm-hmm. I do love a beagle. But yeah, yeah, some some big one. You said Great Dane, but I like I like a whippet, like how how so like on a huge giant body, but a whippet head. <laughs> <laughs> but those are my picks. Wait I'm a minute, like, wait a minute. Let me let me see what a what a what a whippet. A whippet is. looks like a Great Dane, but tiny. <laughs> whippet, not the drug. <laughs> oh, that's what oh. you're. That's who Google thinks you are. Yeah, right. Yeah. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. Whippet. Oh, him. Oh, he's the he's the um he's the let me do it for you. <laughs> Do you remember that? that uh, do you remember that uh, kids from yeah, the folks. internet past? <laughs> yes. If you're in the like, past, listening to this, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> that was that was like that was that was hot for for a couple months. Yeah. Yeah, he's got the yeah. long face. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I would go with. Give me three pugs. <laughs> just give me three pugs, right? They're all just they're they're all just like happy, but it's like hard for them. They're like, <laughs> right, they can't do anything or go anywhere, yeah. right? But they're so happy and so excited when when they uh, when they see you, right? Mm-hmm. And like, but you also kind of feel like just like just the slightest tinge of like pity. It's like I don't want to make him too excited, right? Exactly. To, like, like fall over, so you know, it's like hey, hi, you know, it's like oh, and he and he tries to like get to you, but he like stumbles and he's like. <laughs> Hades has to come out. I was like, oh, this is like, oh, a little bit too much excitement. Right, for, for bur- 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 much, right. Yeah. Let's go back in no. your kennel. Yeah. Kennel, kennel, kennel. Yes, say it three times because there's three of them. Mm-hmm. Right. Yes, yes. <laughs> right. And they look at you, they give you those big eyes, which on a pug, mm-hmm. which on a giant pug <laughs> is very, very big. Right. It's like, oh, I can't say no to you, right. Cerberus. Right. Um, okay. But yeah, so, so 
in the uh, stupid origin story version of this. Uh-huh. <laughs> like the uh-huh, uh-huh. it's three dogs, separate dogs. Uh-huh. One is named Sir, one is named Burr, and one of them is named Us. And the uh-huh. end they get melted together. And right. I will call you Cerberus. Yes. Right. <laughs> but it's like it's 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 a good thing. It's like it's like um like we thought that the dogs were gonna die. <laughs> At the end, right, right. Mm-hmm. And it's like we can't, we can't possibly, you know. It's like, it's like, but each of them, each of them, for their, for their master, who's played by, um, you know, whatever up and coming little shit, <laughs> at- <laughs> just taking our jobs. <laughs> His name is Zach, probably. <laughs> no, or just, Prescott, it's Justice Smith, or somebody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking talented mm-hmm, piece mm-hmm. of shit. Yeah. <laughs> Still got his whole fucking life ahead of him. <laughs> he can wake up and feel refreshed. Whoa, whoa look at me. He <laughs> doesn't have to use monster energy drink to feel like a human being. He <laughs> doesn't yet know the monotony of corporate America workforce. <laughs> right. Mindfulness yeah. Monday. <laughs> yeah, it's, just wait, Zach. It's coming for you. Anyway, um, but yeah, so, so, uh, so <laughs> like, like, you know, to save, to save their, 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 their master, right? Mm-hmm. They all die and he's like, no, <laughs> and he cries those tears, right? Mm-hmm. And then we see like that, 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 that the three dogs come back. <laughs> they, they come back and they're all, they're all one, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. And they're, you know, and then it's just like everyone's happy, right? And then they go, you know, the, you know, knock the bullies into a dumpster. <laughs> I'll show him. Yeah. <laughs> For killing my three dogs. <laughs> yeah. No further punishment necessary. And they certainly won't take revenge. They're in a dumpster now. Right. <laughs> They've learned their lesson. One of them's got a banana peel on his head. Look at that. And it's perfectly coiffed 80s hair. Right. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. But, you're not uh, off the hook either, bully actor guy. I'm not a fan yeah. of yours either. <laughs> Fucking. It's not, not, um, uh, 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 Traditional good looks, but still, right, still, still fucking, very good looking. Let's let's yeah. be honest about this. Here. <laughs> Little shit. <laughs> I'd see anything with him in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. I have. <laughs> oh God, where, where where have we gone? Bottom of fourteen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Bottom of something. Um. Okay, but yeah, so 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 now we get to meet the three judges, mm-hmm. right? This is uh, Radamanthus, Minos, and Achus, and they have their own separate bodies, I imagine. Yes, okay, right. so they are not they sure are not like Cerberus. Right, that's right. clear. Yeah, right. <laughs> that would be interesting, right? You pass Cerberus, and then you just have these three guys, and they're like, <laughs> right? no, 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 no. Right. Um, actually, okay, Minos, mm-hmm. uh, famous famous king of Crete, right. and a- appears in the story of the Minotaur, the Minotaur, the right, Minotaur, right? right? Um, but I remember Minos from uh, Dante's Inferno. Oh. actually, yeah, he is he is a judge down there in one of the circles. Um, in fact, if slash when we explore Dante's Inferno, you might see a lot of callbacks to the ancient Greeks and their version of the underworld mm-hmm. in uh, in Dante's little. Uh, little story there Mm -hmm. um but yeah so but here in hades he is one of three judges who decide whether you go to the elysian fields or to suffer eternal torment Mm -hmm. so and that's like elysian fields is a positive place i don't know if it's like heaven exactly is it Mm, um i didn't i actually didn't look into it yeah i mean like it's interesting that we seem to my point is we seem to have borrowed Mm -hmm. more from the hell part of hades than the than the positive parts of the the greek religion like we had to start sort of from scratch over with the, the Elysian Fields thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, okay. Now we can see how our idea of the devil and hell mm-hmm. um, was informed by Hades mm-hmm. and Hades. <laughs> respectively. Also, re- respectively, right? <laughs> Right. Uh, but one key difference here is that Hades rules over the underworld voluntarily, mm-hmm. right? Like he likes it down there. He's not he's not trapped in the underworld, right? He can go up and commune with the other gods, you know, when he pleases, yeah. right? Um, he chooses not no, to go to the, the meetings and the retreats a lot, but he could right. if he wants to. Yeah, right, right. Um, all I'm saying, like, you know, it's like you want to be – you want more people to like you. You might want to, you know, put yourself out there a little bit more, right? You know, it's like – Sounds like big deodorant got its hooks into you. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, I don't want to smell like sulfur, like, all the time. <laughs> Only when I'm getting it on with a dolphin, if you know what I mean. No. 
<laughs> I mean, you know, he's 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 like, is that eau de sulfur? <laughs> Water to sulfur, eh? Yes, <laughs> yes it is. Why, yes. <laughs> oh, great. Now my entire pool is polluted. Thanks. <laughs> but yeah, um, but yeah. So um, now, now, so so he's not. So Hades isn't trapped in the underworld, right? right? Nor was he thrown down from Olympus. No, we did mm-hmm. that to Hades and Zeus's and Poseidon's parents. So we we threw yes. them down. Right. Not we that got they them. fell, but we 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 yeah, put them down there. Yeah, we put them in in uh, in Tartarus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Which I always it just sounds it sounds so delicious. Actually, <laughs> I can't. I have to pronounce every syllable like Tartarus. Right? <laughs> it's something that you have with fish sticks. You know? <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, yeah. There's there's the there's the there's um, there's sweet. Mm-hmm. There's uh, there's umami. Mm-hmm. And then I don't know this this uh, these 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 um, these uh, chicken tenders are very they're they're Tartarus. As you were saying that, no joke. <laughs> Uh-huh. Parts of my tongue watered that I've never experienced <laughs> before. <laughs> I might Listeners, have to go to the hospital. I don't know. <laughs> Listeners, write in if part of your tongue started watering. But only when I said Tartarus. Yes. If I say anything else, like like cox. Um <laughs> <laughs> no, I might take that out. Um, right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what was that? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, so, so yeah. So he's not. He's he. He wasn't kicked out of Olympus, right. right? But we also have a tale where Zeus fights and defeats this winged serpent called Typhon, mm. who tried to overthrow him. Right. right. And Typhon is cast down into Tartarus. <laughs> Stop doing it. <laughs> <laughs> mm. But yeah, so um, uh, but yeah, so so Tartarus is actually it, we've mentioned it before, right? That is the division of hell reserved for the wicked and also for the Titans. Mm. And in fact, as the Greeks began to embrace Christianity, Tartarus hung around a little bit, a little bit longer. Mm-hmm. Um, and there are some evangelical Christian uh, uh, com- uh, uh, commentaries which distinguish Tartarus from Gehenna as mm-hmm. two different places, right? Tartarus being the place for the fallen angels and Gehenna being the place for humans. Right. Which that was always something I wondered about, right? Like you see depictions of hell and demons in hell, but they're always like stoking the fires or torturing human sinners and they're dancing and capering and having a good old time. <laughs> and I remember thinking, well, it doesn't seem too bad for them. Actually, <laughs> right, right, exactly. It's pretty rock and roll for them. Yeah, right? Like like whenever humans are in these depictions, the demons are, are, are just like having fun, right? <laughs> and, and And if it's just the demons... Then and if and if I see like pictures of just the demons in hell, then they're suffering, right. right? But you never see like, or at least I've never seen like a depiction where you have demons and humans suffering side by side, right, with <laughs> right. each other, mm-hmm. right? And I guess the early historians explained that away by keeping Tartarus and and like adding Gehenna. Very right? cool. Yeah. Um. Actually, I remember thinking like when I was very very young that when you died and went to hell you became a devil like you yeah. got you got a little pitchfork like okay so you thought this too okay so yeah, I'm well not that's the only just one. awaking this now i guess i hadn't thought about it but yeah of course mm-hmm. that's what i thought right so so you weren't separate from the devils you became like you like you know you died and you went to heaven and you got little angel wings mm-hmm. and you got a harp and you got a, a halo yeah so why the hell shouldn't you yeah get a little right. pitchfork and a tail yeah so and i remember i remember like reasoning with myself it's like well if i do go to hell like mm-hmm. i mean Somebody di- somebody's got to die on earth like every second. Right. Right. So I'm going to be like suffering for like maybe like a second tops and then somebody <laughs> else is going to show up and then I get to torture them. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. So that's 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 corporate America for you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, right. Yeah. <laughs> mm. But actually, folks, again, um, that that short story by Neil Gaiman, I think it's called Other People right? mm-hmm. that uh, that follows that line of thinking uh, uh, pretty accurately. It's not fun, though. Oh, OK. Um, but but read it. It's it's very interesting. Mm-hmm. Other People by Neil Gaiman. I'm assuming yeah. hell is other people. Hell is. Well, like the uh, well, I'm not going to mm, I'm not going to spoil it. I'm oh. just gonna, I'm just gonna... <laughs> well, I'm just saying yeah. there's some other line out there from Sartre yeah. that is uh, hell is other people. Ah, well, there we go. That's hell how he defines it. Oh, that's what you were trying to do. Yes, I, he defi- that's how he defines it, is hell is other people. Oh, I like that. <laughs> hmm. So that's, yeah, you go down there and you're just like, oh, great. All of you. you too. Oh, all of you. You. <laughs> you. Great, they sent you. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> Ugh, ah, other people. Ugh. Okay, let's, let's, get, let's get back to Gehenna, right? <laughs> 
Right. Yeah. Um, okay. Now, folks, you'll remember in a previous episode, I had actually talked about Gehenna, mm-hmm. right? Um, as uh, being the like inspiration for the the spiritual dungeon of hell, right? In reality, it's an actual like location. It's a valley. It's the Valley of of uh, of Hinnom, mm-hmm. right? Uh, back in the day, it was used as sort of a, a landfill for all the garbage of Jerusalem. And at times, the garbage was so bad and there was so much of it that they had to set it on fire mm-hmm. just to keep it like contained, right? So, so physically, it looked and smelled like the worst place imaginable, mm-hmm. right? Then add to that that it was the dumping ground for the bodies of executed criminals, right? So you so you weren't given a proper burial. Your remains were just cast into the fire, right? You were essentially consigned to oblivion, right? Like because now there's also no way to remember you. You're just gone, right? Even your memory will eventually fade without like a physical uh, tomb, right? So we see why that would be borrowed for the idea of hell, right? Yeah, yes, right. Yes. Um, but I actually did a little bit more research since uh, that episode. And oh, I found great. even more cool stuff about this place. Sounds like so, a lovely place. <laughs> yes, right? Yeah, it's like, everybody, everybody get your tickets and uh, <laughs> we're going to Gehenna. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so it's actually mentioned first in the Bible as the border between the uh, two tribes of Israel, that of uh, Benjamin and Judah, mm-hmm. right? Uh, which left only one, Joseph, Jacob's favorite <laughs> son. No. Um, yeah, but folks might remember in that amazing mm-hmm. uh, technicolor version of events, right? <laughs> Judah sings the Benjamin Calypso, mm-hmm. which very much uh, slaps, as the kids say. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Ian was uh, was in that play in high school. Oh. Right? Yeah, he was uh, he was Naphtali um, or Naphtali, and uh, and his brother David was uh, was the Pharaoh. Oh, cool. And that song, if I'm if I'm up to date on my Gen Z vocabulary, is a banger that's that's correct yeah yes and then our mutual friend uh, david sobel i saw him in a community theater performance where he was benjamin and did that whole big song so oh wow okay so he was benjamin oh okay huh wait a minute he was also in in the one that ian was in i'm sure he was (laughs) look at it look at our buddy david sobel just 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 being everywhere (laughs) shout out to you david and and you david Mm -hmm. ian's brother and yeah, and Ian. Also. I guess so. Let's let's give a shout out to Ian. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Anyway. Okay. So so none of that is happening in Gehenna. Right? <laughs> no Technicolor. No. No, no, no. Elvis Pharaohs. No. No. Right. You know what is happening? Mm-hmm. Child sacrifice. <laughs> I'm talking about the actual like Gehenna on Earth. Right. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, not Gehenna on Earth. I mean like Gehenna, like you know like like the biblical historical <laughs> geographical Gehenna. Okay. Right. So, so apparently, during the reign of the later kings of Judah, um, like late first temple period, um, folks were sacrificing their children, possibly to our old buddy Moloch, mm-hmm. right? And because of this, Gehenna was later cursed by the prophet Jeremiah. So even before Jesus's time, when the Romans had taken over, it was already known as a bad place. Um, and actually... In Jewish apocalypticism, that is uh, the the uh, the, uh, the theology concerned with the end times, Gehenna has come to stand for a place of divine punishment, mm-hmm. and this is separate from Sheol, which is just you know the land of the dead, right? Right? Yeah, and that's where like everybody goes, right? Good people, bad um, people doesn't matter, right? And 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 that's where like people are just kind of like waiting for for the Messiah uh-huh. or the Messiah, right? So yeah, so uh, Sheol and Gehenna, right? Like two separate places in the afterlife. One of them inspired by an actual place on earth that was that was horrible. Mm-hmm. Um, and the other one might be, um, scholars are saying, could be just a metaphor for the grave. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, and then, you know, King James comes along and translates both of those words into hell. <laughs> he walks away, you know, smacking his head. Job yeah. well done. Job James. well done. Oh, well, right? if you can do a Scottish accent, you can do that. Yeah. Do that. Hey, it's a job well done there. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> And also, wait, 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 wait. Uh, thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. There we go. I hate, you know, there's, there's two things I hate. Witches. <laughs> and Scotland. Wait, no, no. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but no, that was like, did, did you, like um, King James actually commissioned Shakespeare to write uh, the Scottish play. Right, like absolutely. That. Yeah. It's just like, I want you to, I want you to, I want you to really, like, just, just dunk on these witches. <laughs> Just make them ugly. <laughs> right. And Shakespeare's like, I like, you know, like Shakespeare, Shakespeare was smart. Like he probably knew a little bit more of the, of the old religion than, you know, than he was letting on. Oh, right, probably. You know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah a, but, but he's, you know, he's got to pay his bills. Right? right. So he's like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just make, you know. Oh, like, sure. And just make them like, like really <laughs> evil. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Shakespeare is very smart. He was working for a tutor under Elizabeth. And then he's mm-hmm. the next day he's working for a Stuart and he's like, all right, we got to change all of this. Yep, yep. Yeah, because yep, uh, yep. you know they would write um, not Shakespeare, but they would write um, 
uh, poems to Elizabeth as Gloriana, right? The fairy queen. And they say, mm-hmm. oh, like, oh, it's great. You're fairies, et cetera, whatever. And then it's, it's James is like, fairies are bad now. Yes. We hate fairies. <laughs> There's two things I hate. <laughs> Witches and fairies <laughs> and Scots. <laughs> That's three thirds. Are you you're questioning me? <laughs> yeah, and, it, and we've said it on the show, and but but I just think that that's really fascinating, right? Like what we mm-hmm. think of as as Shakespearean language is also mm-hmm. in the Bible because King yeah. James commissioned that version of the Bible, the King James Bible. So they mm-hmm. sound very similar. And now we hold up all of you know um, what we think of as beautiful about the English language. So some people defend mm-hmm. the English language uh, and saying, well, it's the language of Shakespeare and the Bible. Right. Yes. Yeah. Because they mm-hmm. have that same that same poetry to it. Yeah. Yeah. And as we know, right, the Bible did nothing evil ever. <laughs> <laughs> but so we are uniting um, Shoal and Gehenna into hell. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right. So they're translating that all into both into the word hell. And we mm-hmm, talked about mm-hmm. the Norse hell earlier. And mm-hmm. this isn't necessarily meaning the same place, but in uh, English, which um, borrows from uh, Germanic languages. They're yes. using the same cognate hell to talk about an afterlife, a bad afterlife, but they're not necessarily saying that this Shoal Gehenna combination is the Norse place hell. Right, right. Actually, I don't think on the show we talked about like the Norse, like land of the dead. Yet. No, we said it earlier in this episode. Oh, in this episode, yeah, yeah, yeah hell yeah, and hell, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, uh, but yeah, but like actually, you know, just a little, just a little dip. Oh, in, I would love to get thing. dipped so, into hell with you, Lester. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, is that is that like a deep fryer or is it like a hot tub or like <laughs> a little bit of both? What's a what's happening? Are we are we coming out like chicken tenders? Are we are we like tempura? You is are this? coming out as a uh, as a smorgasbord for sure. Okay, awesome, great. I like smorgasbords. <laughs> um, but yeah, <clears throat> but uh, no, okay, so so. This is this is uh, interesting. You so in in uh, you know the Vikings believed mm-hmm. right that you would go to hell, the land ruled by by hell, mm-hmm. Loki. That is Loki's daughter, mm-hmm. right? Um, if you lived a like, I I guess they 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 call it an unworthy life, right. right? So if you died of sickness or old age without ever like like doing anything glorious, right? right? Like the surest way to get into Valhalla would be to die in battle. Right. So like people like that, that was, that was one of the things that made the Vikings so scary to the people that they were, you know, plundering mm-hmm. was like these people not only didn't care about dying, mm-hmm. but like they looked for death, right? right? They, they were like, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, kill as many of you guys as possible and probably going to die. And I don't care. Like, that's actually what I want. Right. Mm-hmm. right? And it terrified, um, these, uh, these, uh, these, these Christian monks, you know, in, um, Lindisfarne right. or other places. Yeah. But so most people go to hell because they don't live a life worth writing about in the runes. And, yes, yeah. right. So their their name is kind of like forgotten, right. right? Again, so again, this idea of like that, like you 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 just kind of disappear, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So ooh, yeah. Um, but yeah. So oh, and I'm sorry. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Just keep going mm-hmm. on. But then, mm-hmm. yeah, Hell, the character, is uh, is Loki's daughter. And that is, again, mm-hmm. like, Loki um, gets these monstrous children by mingling with humans. By yes, interacting again, we got gods. with humans, yeah. yes. Well, well, mingling with humans and also um, uh, other things. Right, as I was saying, interacting. Yes, interact. Well, no, no, like, ming- no, no, no. I mean, you, no, mingling and yeah, we are in agreement. <laughs> As to the hidden, so I guess what, it's not so hidden. What meaning, mingling means? Okay. Mingling and yeah. Oh, yeah, no, what, no, no. what are the other things? Other th- like like a horse. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Interacting no, 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 with no. the horse. I see. Yeah. So, so he he um he 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 gets with he disguises himself as a mare, <laughs> and he gets with this horse. Um, this is this is to help the gods win a bet, right? And and he gets with this horse, uh-huh. and the horse impregnates him, mm-hmm. impregnates Loki. Mm-hmm. And Loki gives birth to Sleipnir, okay. which is the eight-legged horse <laughs> that Odin rides mm-hmm. later on. Right. right? Um, on the show, too. Uh, Land of the Dead. Um, two separate places. It's right here, yeah. Both words into Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Now, okay, this is interesting. Um, there are these texts known as the Targums. Um, I hope I'm saying that right. Mm. Um, which apparently they, they paraphrase the Hebrew Bible in Aramaic. Oh, okay. And in those texts, they do refer to uh, Gehinnom mm-hmm. um, when talking about like a final judgment. Okay. So, so after the Messiah has come, uh, there will be a second death for the wicked where the worm does not die. Mm. That is metal. <laughs> right. I love that, right? Where the worm does not die. Right? 
But yeah, but like I said, these texts are uh, uh, paraphrasing the Hebrew Bible, and actually they're also adding bits of their own, right? Um, the whole thing about second death is not in the Hebrew Bible. And actually, um, I did not know this, but apparently followers of the Jewish faith um, have come to see a uh, uh, Gehinnom, right, mm-hmm. uh, as, as, it is, as it is called, as, yes, a place of fire, but not for, for the purpose of punishment. It is for the purpose of purification, mm. and it is finite. Mm-hmm. So according to, to most sources, the longest you could possibly spend in Gehinnom is 12 months. Mm-hmm. And every Sabbath day, or, or Shabbat, is also a day of rest from punishment. Mm-hmm. And the souls of Gehinnom actually get to roam freely on the earth, and then on the eve of the of the Sabbath, um, the angel uh, Duma, who rules over the sinners in in Gehenom, um, uh, rounds them back up, and, you know, for another week of uh, of purification. That's really huh. interesting. That that jives yeah. more with what um, is there in Judaism from the beginning. So that that sounds mm-hmm. really good. Yeah. Right. So so now my my Jewish friends and and Jewish listeners listeners, I hope I'm I'm getting this right. Mm-hmm. Um, but if I misspeak, please let us know. Right. Um. So so from from what I gather, we we have we have uh, a um. A, a, a neshama or neshama, right? Which can be translated, which can be translated as soul or spirit, um, which is actually a little piece of God. Okay. Um, it is it is from God or it is a part of God, and it's inside each of us, and and that's what connects us to God. Um, and every time we sin, our neshama gets tarnished a little bit, and and so by the end of our lives, before we can return to God, we got to get it like refined or purified. Okay. And and so that's why Gehenna or Gehenna, right? So so again, just like Shale, everyone's going to Gehenna, mm-hmm. right? I don't I don't care who you are or what you did right. or how good you think you are, you probably got some some like spiritual debt mm-hmm. you got to pay off, right? right? And actually, that's why like when someone passes away, um they say the 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 Kaddish, um which is which is a prayer of mourning for 11 months. Uh, only, right? Not 12 months because they don't want to assume that someone is so bad that they would have to stay the full sentence, oh, the full 12 okay, months. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, right? So, so yeah, so I, I, I learned something new as we were researching this. This is really, really cool. I might, I might just like in my own time, like, you know, dig deeper into this because right. it seems really cool. Yeah. Um, okay. So, so now we move from Greek and Jewish tradition to ancient Rome. Mm-hmm. Keenan, I have a question for you. It's a very important question. Uh-oh. How often do you think of the Roman Empire? Oh, geez, I don't know. Um, I have a friend who's writing a Roman Empire script, uh, you know, in my writer's group. So pretty often, uh-huh. I guess. So I don't know if it's a good okay. time to ask me that. This is like, like how, how many how many times a day? Oh, a day? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know. Probably every every couple of days, not every day. Okay. Yeah. Every couple of days. All right. All right. All right. All right. Do you know do you know what I'm doing here? No, uh, I'm referencing. Oh, oh, there's a there's a there's a trend on TikTok. Okay, um, like people are asking their friends. It's usually like like um, uh, ladies are asking their their husbands uh-huh. or, their, or their their boyfriends um, how often they think of the Roman Empire. <laughs> and I don't know how long this yeah. thing is gonna be fresh until uh, uh, you know until it, it dies away. But folks, <laughs> we want you to know that we at the Exorcist Minute are hip <laughs> and with the times. We desperately want you to believe that. Um, <laughs> but what's the right? Uh, what's what's the say about you? Like how many times do you think of the Roman Empire? No, I don't think there is a right answer. I think it's like I, th- I think it's just like it, the. I think the fun of it is just seeing the people's confused faces. <laughs> It's like, what do you mean? How often do I think of the Roman Empire? Oh, I didn't know if it was like trying to point something out. Like, if you asked your dad or my dad how often you think about World War II, they're like all the time. <laughs> I think, I think that's what they're trying to do. Uh, I think they're trying to, like, you know, let's take a peek inside a man's brain, and it's like all he thinks about is the Roman Empire and and uh, interacting. Uh, <laughs> I think about the Roman Empire a lot. I don't know. About yeah, it. you know. Yeah, I've never counted interacting with the Roman Empire. No. <laughs> But yeah, so so we've gone from ancient Greece to ancient Israel to ancient Rome, mm-hmm. but still in Israel, um, as we are actually still in Israel, it's just occupied by Rome. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and so it's at this time when the devil and his legions uh-huh. of demons uh-huh. start to resemble the Roman Empire in many ways. So So both the Jewish people and the newly formed Christians hate the Romans, right? Mm-hmm. They hate the Roman legions and they hate Caesar Nero. He's such a... Well, I don't know. Like, 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 Keenan. What would you describe Caesar Nero as? A horse like, fucker. A horse. Well, yeah, yeah. I wasn't going that far. I was going to say. I was going. Yeah, he's very into. He's very into bestiality. He married right? his horse. Well, that's you know. Yep. He some did. of that stuff isn't yeah. true. Some of that it's is. is extra, um, yeah. Some of that is ex, is what extra Nero. Extra Nero. <laughs> yeah. Right. Some of that is what people say about Nero, but yeah, that's the mm-hmm, mm-hmm. he married his yeah. horse. 
Yeah, I'm a horse fucker. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, not, not not like our favorite character who <laughs> who's gonna marry. Horse. Right, they're gonna get married. That's the difference. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's true love. That's don't don't nobody say anything about about them. Right? But no, I was I was gonna say like he's he's a beast is what he is. This Caesar Nero, <laughs> right. right? And I'm, I'm speaking, of course, folks of the uh, of the passage in Revelation um, where it says the beast has a human number and it is six six six. And remember back in our Testament of Solomon episode, we looked at uh, gematria or numerology, mm-hmm. um, and we learned that six 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 is just the the numerical value of Nero Caesar mm-hmm. in Aramaic, right? So yeah. So and uh, and here is the King James version, right? So here we go. A reading from the Book of Revelation. And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. Mm, okay. As always, we gotta love the King James Version, right? For for how epic it how sounds, epic. right? How epic. <laughs> With all the phlegm. <laughs> how great. <laughs> But yeah, okay, let's uh, let's dissect this a little bit, right? Um, so it's been said, right, that the seven heads of the beast, right, could be representative of the seven hills of Rome, mm-hmm. and as well as the seven emperors, right? So we got Julius, Augustus, Tiberius, Caligula, Claudius, Nero, uh, Nero and Galba, mm-hmm. right? It says the beast will rampage for 42 months, mm-hmm. which would match the 42 months of persecution against the Christians before Nero died. Okay. Right? So there we go, right? So in this in this book of prophecy, it's kind of like um, saying it's either it's either retelling something that has already happened or it's saying that like this will happen again like on a biblical scale. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. So so then fast forward to the fourth century CE and we get Constantine the Great, uh, a Roman emperor who converts to Christianity. Mm -hmm. And almost overnight, folks, this highly persecuted religion of Christianity is now the official religion of one of the strongest empires in the world. Right. right? Got to love the ancient Romans. Mm -hmm. Right. They first they violently persecute anyone who practices Christianity Mm -hmm. and then they convert and then they violently persecute anyone who's not practicing Christianity. Right. Right. Love it. Romans no, got a Roman. Actually, I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Roman, Romans got a Rome. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so so they are the big backer that Christianity was waiting for, right? And to keep all of their followers in line, who do they drag out, dress up, and splash with a new coat of paint? <laughs> it's our old buddy, the devil, right? Whom they claim is behind all of the other religions, including the other Christian right. sects. The Orthodox right? Orthodox or, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? So it's very, very clear cut. You're either with us mm-hmm. or you're with the devil, right? right? Yeah, so so heresy is a capital sin at this point and a capital crime punishable by death. Mm-hmm. Ish, 450 years after Jesus' time and we're already burning people alive in his name. Right, and we already get yeah. ideas of like, okay, these other heresies, those are tests by the devil, right? Yeah. They might sound mm-hmm. really nice. They might sound really persuasive, but that's because you were being tested. Yeah, yeah. Keenan, remember when the devil was just like another angel <laughs> who didn't have a name? Yeah, when he was the sexiest right? one too, when he was the yeah. sexiest angel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now he's now he's this like weird baboon face like <laughs> thing with 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 like dragon feet mm-hmm. and and a face on his butt. Yeah, that's those? my favorite picture of the devil. I didn't know those existed, <laughs> but he's got an extra face on his butt. Yeah, yeah. Or sometimes his front. Right. right. Like, yeah. But that's that's yeah. why um you know we associate uh, devils with cats because they're like look at my face on my butt. Oh really? Oh yeah, cats that- go live down in hell. <laughs> cats are the most devilish of all the pets. <laughs> I was gonna say like. I was like, Keenan, Keenan, you are you are like the OG cat daddy, right? Mm-hmm, right, right, right. And yeah. like, like, you go down to hell, mm-hmm. right? You're not gonna see, you're not gonna see a good boy, Sir Bruce. Like, he's <laughs> no, he's gonna be not. up there, absolutely, right? Yeah. So, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a three headed cat for sure. <laughs> right. That that has flipped from the Greek days for sure. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> right. I can see, you know, they worshipped in Egypt, but uh, no. Um. But yeah, so so now we got now we got like a, a real power behind the church, mm-hmm. right? This is the Church of Rome, right? right? Now this doesn't mean that the pagan religions have all been wiped out. Uh-huh. The empire is spread out all over the place, right. right? And there's loads of farms and villages that haven't uh, gotten the memo, right? right? They're just they're just out there doing their thing and generally looked down upon by the city dwellers, right? And and people closer to the heart of Rome. And In a fact, lot of those people, right, are used to sort of empires, you know, or people claiming to be empires coming and then going, and right, so yeah. Right. Oh well, we're not, they're going to ignore all these rules, right? Right, right. They've they've seen it. They've seen it. Uh, if I've, I've I've seen it once, I've seen it a hundred <laughs> right, times. Right, exactly. So. Oh like, yeah, okay. you're the great emperor. Yada yada yeah, yada. Man. All hell you. All hell you. Yeah. Son of son of the most high god. Right, sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Right. Right. 
Yeah. Or, oh, you are a god. I'm sorry. You're the sun god. Yes. Okay. Right. <laughs> I've, 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 I've been under one of those before. Right. right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so, so yeah, they're, they're just out there doing their thing. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, and, uh, you know, like they're, they're, they're not, they're not, they're not with it. Like the city dwellers, <laughs> right, right. Exactly. In fact, like the city dweller dwellers have a name for these, these, uh, backwoods behind the times yokels, mm-hmm. right. You might remember it, right. They were f- referred to as the Pagani, mm-hmm. right. Which just means village dwellers, right. Similarly, heathen mm-hmm. meant those who dwelled upon the heath, mm-hmm. right. So it's derogatory. It's it's like calling somebody a yokel or a hick or a hillbilly. Right. Right. Literally like like you live in the hills, so you you know, like as opposed to the city, so you must be a hillbilly, right? <laughs> right. Now if you lived on a bluff. <laughs> You'd be a billy hoat. <laughs> yeah. Um Yeah, and then just to clarify, so that there, there are heathens who are those who mm-hmm. have not been exposed to the one true religion and mm-hmm. they're practicing their their own religion. And there's heres- mm-hmm. heretics who yes. have been exposed to the one true religion but have picked a sect that is not the true sect. From our right. point of view. So there are some times where the regime um, is, you know, uh, oh, I'm a Catholic, you're a Protestant, let's, let the Muslims, the heathens are the worst of us, right? But there are some right. times where the regime is like, oh, these heathens, they just don't know any better. And actually, mm-hmm. you heretics who have got the knowledge of what the true se- sect is, you're worse mm-hmm. than us right now. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So that, yeah. that sort of goes back and forth. Right, right. Yeah. They can't decide. Like, I, I think it's just like, depending on who they want to burn that day. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> it's like, who are we going to war with? Okay, they're the worst, right? right. Mm-hmm. The devil is behind them, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. So, so folks, yeah, like, like, going back to that, right? Like, pagan, just originally, it was a derogatory term. It just meant, like, like, you know, a, a, a folksy person, a mm-hmm. village dweller, right? right? Like, like a, like a yokel, right? Uh-huh. Um, and I just can't get over that. It's like, it's like, it's like, oh, I'm so worried. My, my, my son's been listening to that, that pagan music. <laughs> Turkey in the straw. <laughs> all day, all night. Oh, no. Do, 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 turkey in the straw. Do, 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 yeah. Turkey in the straw. That evil do, pagan do, music. Do, 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 and there will be a time <laughs> when she will come round the mountain. <laughs> and she will be riding six, six white horses. No. <laughs> and we'll have to sleep with grandma. I don't know what that means, actually. It's... <laughs> Red pajamas. I like. <laughs> you'll make it sinister somehow in right. the thousand years. <laughs> yeah, right. I, oh, oh, uh, uh, Reverend Paris. I, I, I caught Abigail Williams and the other girls doing a pagan dance in oh, the woods. No, twas a square dance. <laughs> <laughs> Answer me! How many times did you dosey do? I raised you to Alamand right, but you have chosen to Alamand down the left hand path. You dad gum pagan. <laughs> You sing of a home on the range. Where is this home? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Where the deer and the antelope play together. Together. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> but no, okay. So, so like not just in the boonies. We're mm-hmm. talking we're talking about in the heart of Rome itself. The old gods are still really popular, yeah. right? Because they're established. They have a history. Mm-hmm. They've they've been around. They've been like tried and true. Like people have sacrificed to mm-hmm. Fortuna and it has worked. Right. Right. And like I think I joked before that like the old religion was like the Coke to uh, Christianity's Pepsi. Uh, right. <laughs> you know, it's like if your government suddenly made Pepsi the official drink. Right. Right. But like most of the world is still drinking Coke. Mm-hmm. You're probably going to keep drinking Coke. Right. <laughs> like, you know, and hey, like maybe under the threat of um, conflagration, um, you, you might disguise your Coke consumption. You might you might say, ah, Pepsi. It's the real thing. Travel refreshed. <laughs> yeah, but also, you know, you, you're talking about it being like a brand or being about like a commerce. But there was literal mm-hmm. commerce in this in the heart of Rome that was about, um, you know, work in the temple. So and yes, so, so that was your job. That was your way of making a living was to mm-hmm. was to mm-hmm. sell things at the temple or to perform, yes. perform temple rites. So mm-hmm. yeah, and now all of a sudden you have Christianity coming in and replacing that. That's people's lives. That's people's. Livelihood, tradition yeah. their livelihoods and then a lot of people would be right this is true about rome right you'd have mm-hmm. hereditary lines of commerce right mm-hmm. like I you, think, yeah. you'd, you'd inherit your father i'm gonna go ahead and, and say yes to that yeah i mean that's that's where that's how it is everywhere right so yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 you can't yeah. just get another job you can't just go no, away no. yeah yeah i was a, i was a um you know i was a um a maiden at the temple like a mm-hmm. you know uh like like poor medusa you know right <laughs> Ugh. yeah justice for medusa yeah we we got to get away from this 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 topic. This is <laughs> Yeah. 
Oy. Okay, but yeah, but yeah. Um, okay, so so we got all these pa- pagan gods, right, mm-hmm. being recognized and worshipped, right? Mm-hmm. And actually, one of the more popular gods of this time would be Pan. Mm-hmm. Now, Keenan, if I asked you to describe the god Pan to me, mm-hmm. let's say... Let's say I was the Bishop of Rome, <laughs> and I have deigned to grace your dusty little uh, uh, backwater podunk <laughs> with, with my presence, and I see you and your friends, and you're dancing in celebration right. to a non-Christian god whom I have never heard of, <laughs> this, this Pan, and I asked you to describe him to me, what would you say? All right, so I'm backwards. It's right, so yeah. It's like, oh, Pan is wicked sweet. He's the best guy we got around here. <laughs> he's like, he's like a little goat guy. <laughs> he plays a little flute. A, he's a goat. He's what? a little goat. Well, kind of like the bottom part of him is goat, the part that matters. <laughs> and the top of him is just a little guy. He's got little horns on him and he jumps around. And he plays really wicked, cool music. That, that's what I imagine the, the, the bishop would <laughs> <laughs> Lighten up, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Come and worship Pan with us. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. So, so, so we got this god of all earthly things, right? Wine, women, and song. Love right? it. Love it. Love yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. He loves food. Great. He loves uh, sex. Great. He's he's very sarcastic yeah. and witty, and he's got goat legs, yeah. not donkey legs, oh, right? He's got good. got goat legs and horns. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Now, folks, you have come with us this far, right? <laughs> what do we know Christians love to do with other gods? Mm-hmm. Yeah, what do we know that Christians love to do with other gods? I'm glad you asked that, Keenan. <laughs> we turn them into demons. <laughs> and so, yeah, of course, Pan is where historians suspect that the devil got his horns mm-hmm. and his goat legs, right? Mm-hmm. Because apparently before this, he didn't have them, right? And so his his horns just get more elaborate than a goat's horns, I guess, right? Yeah. As we right. go on, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And likewise, all the other nature gods also became demons, or I guess, according to the church, they always were demons, right? right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So just tricking, tricking people like demons do. Well, yeah. I guess it also makes sense as we start seeding the earthly realm, which we have not quite talked about yet, but mm-hmm. we see the earthly realm to the devil or Satan and say that the yes. next life becomes that of God. That would just make yes. sense if you did even have a positive um, spirit for a river or a positive spirit for an aspect of nature. Well, mm-hmm. that's just at the service of your earthly world and your first yes. life. And that's the devil's work. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And speaking of that, yeah, so so um, we fast forward to the Middle Ages, mm-hmm. right? And by now, Satan looms large in the teachings of the church, right? He's used as a deterrent from sin mm-hmm. and a scare tactic to obey the church, right? But some sects of early Christianity went even further than this, claiming that the entire world, mm-hmm. the earthly world, like the physical world, was created by a lesser evil god called the Demiurge, sometimes a... Uh, 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 Yaldabaoth, hmm. right? Demiurge, now, okay. Yeah, the Demiurge, right? Now, this is the belief of the Gnostics. I know we mentioned them before. Um, they are an early sect of Christianity that is radically different from the accepted official interpretation of the uh, the Roman Church, right? And the more I look into them, the more intrigued I get and the more tempted I am to do an episode or, or episodes on the Gnostics and the Gnostic Gospels. Uh, but for now, just for simplicity, um, so there is, there, is a, there is a good God, mm-hmm. Um, and then there is um, Yaldabaoth or, or um, the Demiurge whom the Gnostics, I think, I, ooh, I might be wrong about this, okay. um, the Gnostics are claiming is Yahweh. Okay. Who, who created everything physical, right? Okay. Um, and, and, like including the earth and people and all earthly things and all earthly senses mm-hmm. and that all of these physical things, right? Our five senses, the physical realm was made to trap us, to trap our spirits. It's, Oh, I got I I got to look more into them into this thing. Like I've I've only skimmed the surface mm-hmm. and it is wild. Mm-hmm. But yeah, but yeah. So so essentially, right? Everything earthly is evil. That's right? not so removed from the karmic religions, which say that everything earthly is not evil, but everything earthly is an illusion, mm, and that okay. you should be focusing on the next life, which is the real life. Oh, okay. So like an illusion or maybe like a, a distraction. Yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They'll, they'll put it in slightly different ways, right? But mm-hmm. yeah, it is a distraction from your focus on um, on realizing that, yeah, everything is everything is connected in a way that you cannot understand because you're experiencing it in an earthly way. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. And then, okay, so from the Gnostics, we go to the Cathars of southern France, who also believe that uh, all material things, right, material possessions, mm-hmm. etc., are evil and from the devil, right? Mm-hmm. Now, back in Rome, the church is now rich and powerful, and its rulers are getting fat, and it doesn't, this, the Cathars don't paint them in a very good light, right? The Cathars are claiming that the Catholics are of the devil, mm-hmm. right? 
And the Catholics are claiming that the Cathars are of the devil and blasphemers and heretics, right? <laughs> and the devil yeah. is in the middle of all this. Like, he, he's looking around like, I'm bigger than Jesus. <laughs> Like everyone is, everyone is so focused on accusing their enemies of, of being in league with me, mm -hmm. but everyone has enemies. So like I'm working overtime now. Right. Right. It's like he, he kind of wins in this equation. Right. Yeah. Everyone's being mad at each other. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, like they say that you're of the devil and I say that you're of the devil and right. uh, we both can't be right. Yep. We can both yep. be wrong, but we can't mm -hmm. both be right. Yeah. All right. And then after they die, they show up at the gates and he's like, surprise, <laughs> you're both wrong. Yeah. <laughs> but now you're both right. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so so then we get uh, Pope Innocent III, great name, mm -hmm. um, announces a crusade against the Cathars in 1209. Yeah, um, and I, I always think of crusades as only being against heathens, right? Like people who aren't mm -hmm. Christian. But yeah, that's the first, right. I didn't know that you could do a, uh, a crusade against a heretic. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Specifically, like I think when I think crusade, mm -hmm. when I think of, you know, that horrible thing that uh, that that uh, the church did mm -hmm. against uh, other fellow humans. Right? right. I think of of what they did um, to to um, uh, to uh, the Muslim peoples. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, but yeah. But yeah. So apparently they were doing it to um, to fellow Christians. Yeah, I just didn't um, even know that was possible. All things are possible with God. Kenan. <laughs> um, maybe I'll cut that out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so so this ignites a war that lasts for 45 years mm -hmm. and kills at least 100,000 people that we know of, mm -hmm. right? Um, and the big sticking point, Keenan, the big argument is who is more in the, the devil's camp right? and how powerful the devil is really. Again, like I can't get over how this feels like a background actor with no name and no lines <laughs> accidentally like, like he, he's the waiter and he like trips and spills his tray and suddenly the whole thing is about him mm -hmm. and everyone wants a sequel sequel about like the dippy waiter and a, and a prequel uh -huh. right and a reboot where the waiter has like more screen time yeah. and that's what this is yeah, a prequel where he's in charge he's been responsible for everything that we saw yeah it's mm -hmm. Gildenstern, mm -hmm. rosencrantz and Gildenstern are dead yep yeah. yep that's exactly what this is yeah but 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 no like like what i'm saying is like this is christianity this is christendom like this is supposed to be about the message of the gospels right mm -hmm. like the teaching of Jesus, of, of peace and love for our fellow man, right? Mm -hmm. So Okay, so where did we live off? Um, oh, the Crusades, right. <laughs> <laughs> and folks, that is where we are going to pick up next time with the Crusades and the Knights Templar and Baphomet, and we're going to get into all that stuff next time. But for now, that's all the time we have, and that is all of them. Aw, thanks, Past Lester and Keenan. You know what? Never change. Yeah, stay cool. K-I-T. What? K keep in touch. So oh. you, write, you write that in a yearbook. Oh, I, just, well, it's, I would if I, if I <laughs> got my yearbook signed. <laughs> all right. I've been Lester Ryan Clark. You can summon me on all the socials as Lester Ryan Clark. And I've been Keenan Diaz, and you can invoke me on Instagram and Letterboxd as Howdy Keenan. Yeah, find more of our shows and other really cool podcasts at True Story FM. Like us on Instagram and join our Facebook listener group, Dante's Ninth Circle Sushi and Karaoke Bar. Or feel free to drop us a message at thedevilsdetails at gmail.com. Wouldst thou like to live deliciously? May we tempt you with all the kingdoms of the world? We're not even asking for your souls. Just give us a five pentagram rating on iTunes or Spotify or wherever you listen to our show. In the dead of night, when the village is asleep, and the witching hour makes the veil between worlds most thin. That and sharing the show by word of mouth or on social media helps our little podcast grow and find more cool people like you. All right, folks. Until next week, love and hisses. Mwah! Mwah.